we're back one on one what's your question my question today is why can't black men take care of their kids black men so is this a racial thing no, not really. I'm just messing with you. No, why can't men, in general, take care of their kids? Right. Because it's not just a black and white. It's black, white, Spanish, uh, Asian, and every race. Men in general. So let's group it and say, why can't they take care of their kids? Are you having a situation like that? Yes, I am. Why? Um, because I'm taking care of my kids by myself. Okay, so how many children do you have? I have two boys and one boy on the way. Okay, and by the same man? Yes. Hmm, okay. So, you've already had a child, right? I have twins. You had twins? Yes. And you're talking about why won't these men take care of their children, right? Yes, because I'm noticing it's just... It's just not me, it's other people, like friends and family members that I see most black men are not taking care of their kids. Okay, all right, here's a question for you. All right, you just, how, how, what's the time span between you getting pregnant and your twins? Nine months. Okay, <laughs> so in other words, you had some twins, they nine months old, and you got pregnant again? Yes. All right. Did you not know that these kids or this man was in the situation that he was in before you got pregnant again? And you knew that he was not taking care of the first group and you got pregnant again. Why? You know, because at first he wasn't helping financially, but he was there, like, just being supportive, like, being around. Okay, so you just need a man around. Is that the, the goal, no, just I'm, to have a man around? No, I needed help with taking care of my kids. Okay, so you wanted someone that was there taking care of your kids, but has he ever taken care of them? Not financially. Has he ever taken care of them financially? Yes or no? No, not <laughs> pampers and little okay. stuff, but not little stuff. Yeah. So who really running the show here? Who's really taking care of? Who is really paying the bills here? Let's let's talk about that. Me, you, and you want to know why they won't? You answered your question. So who's doing it? Me. Hold it. That's the problem. You're doing it. You let this man come in, give you twins. Not one, but two. And you knew that he wasn't paying any bills then. And then you laid down with him again, got pregnant, and now you want to know, how come they won't pay the bills? Why should they? Now, I'm going to ask you a question. What do you think you should do? Continue taking care of my twins and my other baby the best way I can and Leave him alone. Okay, I didn't tell you that. You already said it. You know why? Because something down in you already told you the answer. That's a deadbeat dad. And all he wants you for is one thing. To use you, abuse you, take your money, sleep in your house, and eat your food. That's what you want? No. Well, that's what you're getting. And you want to know why? Because you're taking care of him. So now what? What's the answer? I'm asking you. I know the answer. I want to hear it from you. Talk to me. Leave him alone. Can you leave him alone? Or is your heart just so stuck there that you can't leave him alone? I can leave him alone. For a while? No, but it'll take time to completely. Take time. Come on. Well, yes, it'll take time. What? It'll take time to completely leave him alone. It would take time for you. To completely leave him alone. Yes. Because you don't have enough strength to do it on your own, right? Right. It's not just the money. It's that emotional bondage that's holding you to the griddle. Am I right? And also I want him to help me with our kids that we made together. Yeah, you want him to do what he's never done in his life. Is he married? I mean, I should say, are you? No. Okay. Who does he live with when he's not living with you? His mother. Love! 
please don't say his mama. Okay. So, there you go. He doesn't want to work, honey. And the only solution, I always end with, there's a strength that God has to put in you to give you the strength and the courage to say enough is enough. And only God can do that. You got it? Yeah. Have I helped you with your question? Yes, you did. Are you going to try to do better? Yes. I'll help you. When you get to thinking real crazy, call me. Thank I'll walk you. you out. Oh, Thank you, welcome. baby Richard. <laughs> I love you. You're a sweetheart. Well, we're going to finish this episode and just say, I think somebody learned from it on one.